So I finally got to sitting again last night. I'll admit that it's been a good couple weeks or longer, I think, since I've been able to have a sit on the mat. I think I sort of started to lose my way a little bit and I'm still still trying to reset back to that. Um, I think it's important and humble to know when you're having a problem and not keep up a false pretense because the only thing you're, you're uh, keeping up false, false, false pretense to yourself is yourself, really. So, you know, being honest with yourself and uh, with other people allows you to get back to that, uh, especially if you were really helping yourself with uh, the progress. Um, I've decided that what I want to do is I want to do a guest lecture or a guest vlog uh, of some sort. Um, just, um, I think I'm really interested to know a little bit more about how people see being, uh, being an adult. Um, I think that there's an intrinsic uh, value that can be learned from how people see being adults and being irresponsible and being independent. Um, it sort of stems from a post that I made uh, called Entitlement, where I was sort of discussing a little bit on how I felt um, growing up. and. Uh, I'm still having a bit of difficulty kind of grasping being a very strong independent person and having my my own uh, my own uh, I don't know how you call it my own agenda I guess is the easiest way to put it or my own path that's not connected uh, you know essentially connected with with other people's not to say that I shouldn't have some connections with other people but I should sort of I feel that I should be walking to the beat of my own drum, doing what I want to do with my own life, um, and conquering my own obstacles, as opposed to uh, sort of living my life uh, in parallel or in tandem with other people uh, that are in my life, uh, notably parents or, or close friends, and um, sort of living based on how they are living their lives and sort of living this, 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 uh, it's really difficult for me to come up with a vocabulary right now, but uh, sort of living some sort of an existence tied with theirs um, and my own path kind of becoming blurred in with that duality. So uh, I've, I, I don't know who, who I'm going to talk to about this. Uh, I've got a couple people in mind, um, one of which is my dad. I think it's going to sort of provide some some interesting input, uh, especially since, like I said, in my in my entitlement piece, I sort of uh, spoke a lot about um, when I was young and growing up, how I f saw my parents and how how sort of together I saw them being, and and uh, not together as in as in husband and wife, but together as in they just felt very uh, cohesive adults, and uh, something that I really uh, really aspire to be. And now that I'm that age. I want to see what I'm missing out on, or if it was just a, uh, a skewed perspective or a skewed observation that I had at the time. So uh, that's one person that I'd like to interview. Um, and I'd also like to interview a friend of mine, Mark Sunderland. He's a little bit older, maybe 10 or 15 years older, in his 70s or 80s. And uh, he's always been a close friend of mine um, because he has still a lot of that youthful vivaciousness that I see in myself. Um, maybe it's also because he is, uh, he, he lost his wife, so uh, he is also alone, uh, kind of like me, but he really seems to hold it together in some, some, some fashion, uh, unlike myself um, in certain aspects. So I'd like to kind of explore his path and his vulnerabilities a little bit and uh, to see what, he, what kind of input he has to offer. So. Uh, those are the those are the two people that I'd like to speak with first, both men. Um, maybe I'll meet some 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 women in there as well. I'm not really sure right now. I guess it's a it's a little bit of a, a journey into into the male uh, perspective, not to be sexist, but just uh, because I identify a little bit with that gender and some of the issues that uh, that gender has uh, in today's society. Um, so yeah. Um, that's basically what I've been 
mulling in my head for the last uh, for the last little bit of while now the last few days that's sort of been something that's preoccupied me a bit so maybe we'll add that in um, over the next few weeks take some of those uh, interviews and collapse them down into a few uh, vlogs and blogs I figured that if I do an interview like that that uh, I might actually have to do, do some editing which does go against my normal uh, non-editing sort of credo on my blog but since it's not me talking I figure that uh, it doesn't need to be because uh, I figure if I just do a lo one long sort of post where people talk about their lives and talk about how they see being an adult that's going to go on too long and no one's going to want to listen to the whole thing so maybe I'll provide both maybe I'll provide the uncut and the cut for those who just want a, a tidbit or a, a bite and I've been talking a little bit longer today so I'm uh, going to leave you all and uh upload this and uh, go to work, so uh, namaste.